Welcome to the Daily Connection. Your daily connection to God and His Word. What's up, Doc? Oh, man, I tell you what. You, you, beat, you beat West Down. <laughs> that, that temperature. Oh. Yeah. Man, today, you, you will find out if you got a good battery or not. Well, I tell you, yeah, these temperature super swings are something. But you know what? Still that, it's a fabulous <laughs> Friday. <laughs> Despite the storms and the temperature swings. <laughs> but, but I, know, I, know, I know you got some good news for us, Pastor. And man, I tell you what, we, we know that, the, uh, that, that that God will always prevail. And that's what He's done. He spared our lives from yesterday. And man, I'm ready to hear what you have to say. So I'm going to turn it over to you right now with Christ in action. Hey, Pastor, you know it. You got it. All right, indeed, we are delighted and giving God praise and glory for his protection uh, for us and our families and our homes, uh, despite all of the things that went on yesterday. And today we're calling it like we see it and we call it, we see it like God declared it. And as B.B. says, in order to save us, in order to save the day, because of love, the Lord Jesus put himself in harm's way, fulfilling God's eternal purpose and plan for us before the world began, y'all. You know, it's so, so, so important to understand a simple concept, the word predestination and foreknowledge of God and what that means to our lives. That when it says before time began, when it says before the world began, before we were formed in our mother's womb, it means that God had us on his mind and he had his on, us, on his mind to do us good and not evil, to prosper us, not to harm us, to give us a present, a future, and a hope, and to bring us to a expected end. That's what Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11 says, and that's what we're declaring to you. Hey, listen, I just want to give a plug this morning for Connected Grace, which will be in person and online at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time tomorrow morning. Connected Grace is the women's uh, 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 part of uh, Connected that my wife, Ramona, uh, leads and uh, just uh, gathering women to refresh, renew, and reflect in the things of God. And on Saturday morning at the Connect Center at 5650 Sanderson Street, Street, Sweet R, right here, Huntsville, Alabama, 35805. I give you the address so that you can put it into your GPS and it can take you right there. It's going to be New Year, New You. New Year, New You as she is going to be encouraging words and uh, on how to look into 2023 and to be the you that God made you to be, to go forward and not backward, to look ahead and manifest all of the destiny that Father God has invested in you. We've also got Camille Creates, so it's going to be on site doing headshots and celebrating you and... Um, uh, all of the good things that God has invested in you as a woman, as a lady. So come on, woman. Come on, ladies. Uh, come on out. Be a part of it. It'll be a time of fellowship and refreshments as you reflect and refresh and renew in the things of God. 
Well, that's our series. Now we're talking about manifest at Connected Church because not only because it's what Connected Church is doing and what we're doing, but we believe that's the heart and mind of God as we share from you with you our foundation scripture in Romans chapter 8. How it talks about how the whole earth groans and travail, awaiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. And that we ourselves, within ourselves, do also groan. And so we say this, and I, this is the basis of this uh, for us, is that we, within ourselves, have the answer and the solution by God's own predetermined and predestined will to be the answer to the earth and its groanings. Whatever is going on with and in the earth, you're the answer to it. I'm the answer. We together, we're the solution. Whatever groanings and longings you have within yourself, uh, it, you have the answers within you. Uh, whatever's going on in the communities of the world and the earth, you, I, we have the solutions within us. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 8, what is man uh, that you are so mindful of him? that you crown them with glory and honor and put him over the works of your hands. You see, friend, this is not a self-deterministic or secular humanist view. This is God's perspective. This is God's view. This is the truth that God has shared with us in his word about us. And it's the truth that your enemy, the one who comes to steal, kill, and destroy, the accuser of the brother, doesn't want you to know. He doesn't want you to take it on, own up to it, and step up to it. You know, it, the reason he doesn't, he knows what happens when you do, that you bring answers and solutions to the table as only you are designed by God to do. That's why he tried to kill Moses before he was ever came into the earth to be the deliverer of God's people. That's why Herod put out uh, the notice to kill all the male children during the birth of Jesus because he was trying to cut it off. He didn't know exactly what he was doing, but the enemy knows that the seed of the woman is the one that is appointed by God to crush his head. You are a head crusher. You are a head crusher. Think about that. You are a head crusher before God uh, uh, of, of Satan. A head, Satan's head crusher, not heads, men, but... Uh, I just want you to see it and know it, that we are the answer. We are the solution. As you rise up in 2023 to manifest all God has invested in you, everything that he's invested in you, it's in you. Despite your struggles, no matter the, the, the difficulties that you have faced in life, there is a glory that is appointed for your life, a purpose and grace that we want to see you walk out. As you yourself embrace Christ in you as the hope of glory. All right, women. Hey, tomorrow, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. New Year, New You. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosion Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day. The dream of change is alive. Jesus is our joy because together you and I are the difference. It makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this fabulous Friday, Pete. All right, man. I couldn't see it any better myself. Yes, yeah. sir. Blessings on you and the Gospel Explosion family. Bye-bye for now. Talk to you again real soon, Lord willing. Okay, Pastor. Bye-bye. All right. Well, hey, listen. Indeed, y'all. We want you to know who you are in Christ. And to simply be it, manifest. You're authorized to be all that God has created and pronounced over you. You're authorized. That's who you are. That's how he's defined you. That's... His plans for you, his purposes for you to walk out everything that he has spoken in his word over you. And as he chose you in Christ from the foundation of the world, that you're already chosen. 
You're already appointed. You're already authorized. So then what must we do? We must simply respond. Embrace the righteousness of faith, faith in God and what he says and how that puts us in right standing with God, all because of the gift of his son, Jesus Christ, and authorizes and empowers us to live the life of reigning as kings and serving as priests unto our God and unto his Christ. All right, well, listen, women, we do want to see you tomorrow. My wife is leading it, and there'll be a great company of women there to encourage one another just to enjoy and refresh and renew and reflect in the things of God. New year, new you. Come out and get your headshots with Camille Creates, and uh, she's a uh, dynamic off-the-chain uh, salon owner. And uh, she's going to be there, and she's offered to do four, some headshots for all the women who desire it, four headshots. And so um, just going to be a fun time. Refreshments will be served. All right, well, listen, I've got to go. But remember this, God loves himself some you, and we do too. You matter to God, and you matter to, to us. Go out and have a great day on purpose. Bye-bye for now.